Hello, my name is Javier Gonzalez. I am currently enrolled at Texas A&M International University. I am majoring in systems engineer. I am currently enrolled in engineering graphics for the fall of 2014. Today I'll be showing you how to annotate radius, diameters, and angles. Let's get started. First we go to the annotation ribbon and then we scroll down here to radius. We select our arc or circle we could specify at what point we want the annotation to be. So we could here in the middle or in the outside. We choose the middle. We could zoom in just to see. Notice that there's an R on the on the on the number that specifies that's the radius. If we do a diameter, we go back to the annotation. We go we scroll down to diameter. We choose our arc or circle. We specify where we, where we want, it to be, um, want it to be, just like in the previous example. We choose it right here. We zoom in. Notice how this one has a, a data um, symbol. This means it's the diameter of the whole circle. The R means the radius. Now, if you notice, the, the, the precision is quite more precise than if we had it at a different setting. We could adjust the precision by um, more precision or, or less, or we could just a single digits. It, de it depends on the project or whatever you're doing. So now we're going we're gonna to choose just a, a simple for a simple project with uh, one decimal place. So we click, we, we we click on the number, then we right click and go to precision. And you can choose how many decimal places you want. Now I'll be showing you how to how to annotate angles on a certain lines or in this case a triangle we go we go down here we scroll down we look for angular we choose our two um, lines we choose these two and then you can specify which are point we'll do, we'll do that for all sides Now we just zoom in and then your angle is specified. You could do the same by changing the precision to the, to whatever decimal points you want. We'll just go with one decimal point. And that is all for annotation annotations of radius, diameters, and angles. Thanks for watching. And there will be more videos on different examples for the next time. Thank you.